Hey guys, how's it going? This is Joy Universe, and in today's video, I want to share my experience of soloing the ZG raid as a proud warrior. And yes, you can solo every single boss in the ZG raid. As you can see, my gear that I'm not even running full previous yet. And um, if you have uh, raiding gear, I think this is very easy. Uh, for the talent build, I'm running the standard UA. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's start with a bad boss. Um, phase 1 is very easy, hardly do any damage at all. Um, he, uh, she can also like knock you down, procking your second win, which is nice. Now in phase 2, when she becomes like uh, in the humanoid form, I would say there are just like two things to be aware of. First, always save your shield bash for the healing spell. Like all the other spells she cast doesn't really matter. Like just make sure you save your shield bash for the healing. Because otherwise she's gonna heal for quite a bit. Second thing, do not stand in the fire. I think that's kind of obvious. And uh, if you can do these two things properly, and then uh, she's she's fairly easy boss. Now let's talk about the Viper boss. Um, overall, very easy boss as well. Um, phase one, just kill everything. Um, when he casts the Holy Fire, I don't think it can be reflected. You can land outside if you want, but I just don't bother. If the boss cast renew on himself, you can just uh, use your shield slam to dispel it. Uh, in the second phase, just move out of the poison cloud. Uh, yeah, as simple as that. Overall, very easy boss. For the spider boss, um, Another pushover, really. Uh, nothing worse to talk about. Just, just kill it. Um, she can cast a web that immobilizes you, procking your second win, so you will hardly lose any health at all during this fight. Bless you, mortals, for this release. Her car controls me no longer. Um, for the panda boss. Mega pushover, nothing to talk about. Pass. Now for Jindu, um, he can be very annoying. Um, if you get my control by his my control totem there is a chance that he will regain like 50% of his health back. But if you are quick with your hands, you can snipe the uh, mind control totem with your revenge. Um, otherwise, he's very easy. Um, depends on your RNG really. Uh, if you regain like his health, it's gonna take some time, but otherwise he's very easy to kill. Here comes the bosses you've been waiting for. Um, for the Blood Lord Mandel here, um, very easy, very straightforward. You don't even have to glitch the Raptor at all. Just face tank everything and uh, and kill it. Nothing else really. For the tiger boss, in phase 1, make sure you make a macro target for Zealot Lorcan. So every time she casts healing spell, uh, just interrupt it. And also try to kill, like, try to keep your damage consistent for every single one of the bosses. Because um, otherwise, if you kill one too fast, it's gonna re uh, resurrect. Once you get to phase 2, it's, uh, it's like a walk in the park, really. Hakar, finally we have a boss that is challenging. 
I actually wiped a couple times on this boss. Uh, do you know that when I engaged Hakar, I left the Tiger boss alive because the Tiger boss aspect will give him like attack speed bonus. Otherwise, he won't proc our revenges fast enough for us to kill it. Um, there's a couple of things to be careful in this fight. First, uh, if just position yourself like near this part of the platform so that you will aggro the uh, son of Hakar automatically every time he uh, passes by you. Uh, because when he casts his blood siphon, you need to have this debuff from the son of Hakar. And also, when the, uh, the son of Hakar gets on the platform, try to not kill it too fast. Because he can knock you down and proc you a second win, which is very important for you to stay alive in this fight. And also, like uh, when you get below 50% HP, you can use this trick of proc uh, procking your last stand together with Enrage Regeneration. This combo will regain a lot of your health back. Other than that, just try to you know like stay alive for another two minutes to proc your second Enrage Regeneration. And once you do that, and uh, I think you should be uh, you should be able to kill it. Do you know that at around 5% HP, Hakar will become enraged. So at that moment, you will need to pop your shield wall to survive the damage. Bonus clip. For the fishing boss, um, this is also very easy overall. Just make sure that you tank him in the water because otherwise you know like you're gonna take a lot of fall damage so i think that's it i hope you guys like this video and uh, if you ask me whether it's worth it to do the entire zg run i mean in terms of the gold farm wise no really i i think it's pretty underwhelming because none of the boss drop a lot of gold but if you can sell the polymorph home from this fishing boss uh, for more than like a hundred gold on your server then this might be worse i'm not too sure so you be the judge all right thank you have a nice day